Um, so I'm going to talk a bit about electromagnetism today. Um, basically, it's one of the four fundamental forces. It's called electromagnetism because electricity and magnetis magnetism were thought to be separate forces for a long time when they were first discovered, you know. Sort of electricity is over here, magnetism, and then eventually they were unified into one force or realised um, to be the same thing, really, I suppose. Um, or different, different sort of real life examples of the same same fundamental force, basically, which is electromagnetism. Okay. Um, electromagnetism is to do with um, the orbit of electrons around the nucleus um, of an atom, um, negative electrons around the outside, positive and neutral in the middle, protons and neutrons, respectively. Um, electromagnetism is also electricity, that kind of thing, um, and light as well, um, colour, because colours are different frequencies of light, different amounts of light, um, and a spectrum, which means like a scale, basically. So, um, different amounts of light form a different colour, depending on the uh, frequency of the wave and all this stuff. And like I say, electromagnetic waves, it's a bit like a force field in a cartoon or some film or something. Um, that's the electromagnetism, um, the wave um, property of it, really, and the field sort of thing. Um, so basically, it's one of the four fundamental forces, the others being strong and weak nuclear forces and gravity. They're the four fundamental forces. Um, and the thing is, nobody seems to be able to create a, a theory that explains and unifies um, electromagnetism, strong weak, strong weak nuclear forces, and gravity, you see. I mean, gravity starts with the hardest one to unify, but it actually isn't. Um, it's, it's extremely, extremely simple. In fact, it's one of the easiest ones to understand, actually, in, in unified gravity. So let's let's take um, two magnets. Then that's electromagnetism. Okay, we've got two magnets. Like charges repels. That means um, if you put the two sides that are the same polarity, if you like, together, the you try and put them together and they, they don't go together, do they? Okay. If you put them the opposite way, the same thing happens. But if you put them one one way, one the other way, they attract because opposites attract. Okay. Um, so let's say you've got a normal bar magnet, or let's say this is a magnet, okay? One end, the other end, different polarities, in the middle you've got neutral, nothing. In between two opposites, okay? Extremely, extremely simple. And that's the key to understanding electromagnetism, okay? Um, electromagnetism can either be attractive, repulsive, or neutral in its potential, okay? It can attract things, repulse things, or be neutral, okay? And that sums up the electromagnetic interaction of physics completely. Negative, positive, neutral, potential, thing in the middle, that's it. Okay? Right, strong weak nuclear forces. Inside an atom, you've got more than one proton, for example, let's say. So, protons are obviously positive, like charges, same charges, thought to repel, but they don't. So, people have invented a force called the strong nuclear force, which is said to attract them and override the natural tendency of the light charges to come apart, you see. The protons normally would go, whoa, you know, they wouldn't go together. Well, they seem to go together in a certain atomic context anyway. Um, so, the event of the weak, weak force to, as the opposite of this, because sometimes protons fly apart as well. Surprise, surprise, there's an opposite potential. Okay, so we've got strong nuclear force which binds things, the weak nuclear force which breaks things apart. All we need to do is add a neutral nuclear force, and that sums up the strong and weak nuclear forces. The strong, the weak, neutral, in the middle. The neutral potential being the exact point between the strong force and the weak force. That's that, unified, okay? The last one is gravity. Gravity is, well, everybody knows what gravity is, don't they? It's the attractive force that keeps us on the Earth, stops us floating off in space, blah, blah, blah. Gravity is an attractive force observed without its opposite and neutral potentials, okay? Gravity can either be attractive, repulsive, or neutral. The same as every other amount of energy in the whole universe. It can be attractive, repulsive, or neutral, and that is the overarching super theory which unifies all the four fundamental forces. We've all got three possible potentials in theory, and that is it. 
as simple as that, okay? As I said, we've got a strong and weak nuclear forces, two opposites, at neutral, bing, okay, gravity, attractive, we're missing repulsive and neutral, we add repulsive and neutral to gravity, we've got three forces, okay, bing, solved. Right, electromagnetism, um, we've got attractive, it's usually attractive, or it's repulsive, look at two magnets, they either attract on one side, they repulse on another, in the middle, the neutral, okay, you put two magnets together in the middle, it's not one force, it's not the opposite force, it's neutral in the middle, and that's the four fundamental forces summed up, solved, simple as that, negative, positive, neutral, potential, okay, and that is as simple as that.